ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷರಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಡಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ ಬೈ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆನ್ ಅಟೆಂಪ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ದ ಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಮನಾಥ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಟೆಲಿಕಾಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಟಿ ವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ಲಿ ಡನ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಯಿಟ್ ಟು ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪಿರೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಂ ಗುರೂರ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರೂರ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರೂರ್ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ನೋಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಡೆವೋಟೀ ಇಸ್ ಎವರ್ ಅಬ್ಸಾರ್ಬ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಸೋ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗುರು ಇನ್ಸೆಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ಹೇಮತ್ ಪಾಂಡ್ಜಿ ಲಿಸ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ವುಡ್ ರೀಪ್ ಬೈ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಚರಿತ್ರ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಓ ವಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಓ ವಿ ಒನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಓ ವಿ ಹಿ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಡ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಅಟ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಬೈ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದೆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರಿ ವಿಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಸ್ ಗುರು ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಡೆವೋಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ಓ ವಿ he mentions that if reading of this book is done every day at any home goddess lakshmi will permanently abide there also if in any house this book is read in one week then that house will never face poverty hemat panji states that the above declarations are not made by him but professed by shri sai maharaj hence he is asking the devotees to remain without any doubt following this hemat panji shares a few philosophical details and then goes to describe the chavadi procession when was chavadi procession started how it began and in what manner it was conducted what is its significance can be discussed in detail now in the year 1909 the chavadi procession commenced for the first time but the worship and bhajans in chavadi started on december 10th 1909 on one evening in the year 1909 suddenly there was a heavy thunderstorm in shirdi the masjid in which shri sai stayed was in a dilapidated condition the wind was blowing fiercely and in a short while the entire place was flooded with water owing to heavy rain water began to seep through the walls of the masjid and leaked from the damaged roof the floors were uneven and had many pits owing to the floods there was water inside the mosque up to the heel there was no dry area for shri sai baba to sleep that night devotees were worried and began to think of options for shri sai baba to stay dakshin mukhi hanuman temple was close by and neighboring that was chavadi chavadi was found to be a suitable place to stay for shri sai maharaj so they pleaded shri sai baba to go and spend that night in chavadi whereas shri sai maharaj didn't heed their request they compelled him but he still didn't budge by then the water level inside the mosque increased to knee height so the most ardent devotees such as tatya kote patel and few others lifted him forcefully and took him towards chavadi as they trekked half of the distance shri sai baba got down getting drenched in the rain he walked the remaining distance to chavadi this was how shri sai baba was taken to chavadi for the first time Shri Sai Maharaj revealed a stubborn behavior and strong will. It was never easy for the devotees to convince him on subjects pertaining to him. So, in this context, it is evident that Shri Sai Maharaj didn't wish to sleep in Chavadi. Still, he somehow budged for the wish of the devotees because he likes to submit himself to the love and devotion of the devotees. Of course, 
the devotees did not thrust their wish upon shri sai maharaj for their personal benefit instead it is an outcome of care and love upon shri sai baba hence shri sai maharaj agreed to their call following this incident shri sai maharaj commenced the practice of sleeping in chavadi on alternate days in the book experiencing shirdi by alison williams the author says shri sai maharaj would not bring any ritual into practice hastily but once he starts a ritual then until his maha samadhi he followed that for instance there was a miracle where shri sai baba inserted his hand into the duni for the sake of saving the life of a child that was to slip into the furnace of the blacksmith because of this incident his divine arm got burnt from then the leper devotee bagoji shinde massaged his arm and bandaged it Shri Sai Baba out of love to his devotee allowed Bagoji to serve him Bagoji was suffering from leprosy his fingers had shrunk his body was full of pus and smelling badly but wonder of wonder after he started the service to Shri Sai Maharaj the intensity of the disease reduced every morning he would massage the burnt part with ghee then place a leaf over it and bandage it tightly he continued this treatment until the maha samadhi of shri sai baba after some days the arm healed still shri sai baba led bagoji continue to bandage his arm daily for many years say until october 14 1918 that is a day before he left his mortal coil the author alison williams quotes various such instances that were followed by shri sai maharaj until his maha samadhi one of those was shri sai baba trekking to lendibag in the morning and evening daily similarly going on bhiksha rounds also continued until he left his human body likewise the chavadi procession also continued until his maha samadhi writes alison williams none can fathom the actions of shri sai maharaj to the wonder of all during the ceremony of chavadi procession every time when the procession reached a point shri sai maharaj will stand absorbed in himself his face shone with a peculiar luster it glittered like dawn his eyes will be fixed on the space placing his hands on the forehead as though he is trying to look at someone in a far off location moving his right hand up and down for some time as though gesturing at someone pondering upon the above scene of the chavadi procession few sai philosophers share their view thus they say the world war 1 took place during this period so shri sai maharaj must have intervened in a subtle manner to prevent heavy loss to human life by gesturing his orders to the air force this chavadi procession must have been utilized by shri sai maharaj to implement this goal therefore devotees the ceremony that was started during the year 1909 continued till 1918 on every alternate day after shri sai baba's maha samadhi the chavadi was conducted only on thursdays and till date every thursday the sansthan performs chavadi procession Hemant Panji has very skillfully described in his poetic verses the exquisiteness of the Chavadi procession. On the day of Chavadi procession many people assembled and there was a team to sing bhajans. Shri Sai Maharaj had keen interest in bhajans. He always encouraged chanting Lord's name and singing the glory of the Lord. So from the time shri sai baba began the ritual of chavadi procession shri radha krishna mai made use of this opportunity to turn this into a royal procession she always wanted to give a regal paraphernalia to shri sai baba so by her untiring efforts and strong determination she began to collect from the affluent ardent devotees all the necessary items that were used in the procession of a king when he journeys from one place to another the first team that was formed for this purpose was the bhajan mandali 
this troop consists of both men and women and on the day of the procession they would assemble at dwarakamai by noon and sat in the middle of the sabha mandap some brought the musical instruments of their choice such as segendi tal chiplis kartal mridang ganjiri and gol the troop did bhajans Shri Sai Maharaj would be seated in his seat in the sanctum sanctorum watching all this behind them was a small car to the right was a tulsi vrindavan even now we can find a tulsi pot in the courtyard of dwarakamai with divine fervor the bhajan mandali would do their bhajans while outside some were adjusting the divatyas that is torches a few were decorating the palanquin many stood with cane sticks in their hands and uttered slogans of victory to shri sai baba and were known as dandadaris they would also accompany shri sai baba during the procession dandam means sticks dandadari or those who carry these sticks that were beautifully decorated with unique ornaments during the king's rule these staff holders would walk with the king while he is trekking or traveling outside the palace then the bagaldars would be waiting outside for the procession to begin bagaldars or those who proclaimed salutations in praise of shri sai baba they were appointed by radha krishna mai So just before Shri Sai Maharaj commences the chavadi procession the ushers would call out in a loud town tone proclaiming Raja Diraj Yogi Raj Para Brahma Shri Sachidananda Sadguru Sai Nath Maharaj ki jai This kind of salutations would be proclaimed usually before the king leaves his palace and similar one was specially arranged by Radha Krishna Mai for her guru and god Shri Sai Baba then flags flew high in the sky at the road crossing there were archers garlands and buntings Shri Sai Maharaj loves lamps around the masjid many earthen lamps were lit in rows The horse Sham Karna was richly dressed and fully caparisoned bells jingled on his feet Radha Krishna Mai had appointed professional trainers to train Sham Karna so that every time before the chavadi procession began the horse would caper by lifting its forelimbs above the ground and salute as a mark of respect to Shri Sai Baba This posture looked like human beings joining palms to pay respects. The arrangements made for every chavadi procession were magnificent and the entire village would be in a festive mood waiting to exhibit their loving devotion on Shri Sai Baba in the best way possible. Devotees folded cloths and shawls and spread them like carpets on the way in which Shri Sai Baba was to walk. They were ready with banners, whisks, fans and decorations to walk with Shri Sai Baba. Fireworks were also kept ready. Men, women and children of Shirdi adorned few clothes and participated enthusiastically in the procession. Devotees all these paraphernalia didn't happen once in a week but every alternate day none can measure the excitement and determination with which the devotees took part in this procession this vividly exhibited the profound love and devotion the devotees of shirdi had for shri sai maharaj let us continue to enjoy this ecstatic divine procession in the coming episode bow to shri sai peace be to all o sai ram